hey guys, the concept of surface area, increasing surface area and size of what we're actually reacting confuses so, so many people because it's the opposite way around to what you think it should be. So I'm going to teach it to you like I teach it in class. I've got some snap cubes. Um, we're going to count the surface area and we're going to see how surface area changes as we go from something that's a large solid to a powder. So here is my lump of whatever we are reacting. What I'm going to do is take this lump, just go through and count all the blocks that are available to react. We are going to write them down and add them up and then I'm going to break it up, count all the blocks again and we'll see how much surface area is available to react. So, front. Bottom. Side. Other side. Sixteen plus sixteen plus fifteen plus fifteen plus twelve plus twelve equals. 86. So this block has 86 available spaces for a reaction to take place. What I'm going to do now is to break this up into its individual parts. So imagine this was a lump of say calcium carbonate. I'm now going to break this up into a powder. These are all of the individual blocks that I had making up the cube. Now I'm going to take one block and I'm going to count the, again, top, front, back, side, and side. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six available sides. And I have one, two, three. Six, four, seven, 48 blocks. So six sides on 48 blocks. Six times 48 equals 288. So we can see when it was a big lump, counting the available sides that were available to react on the top, back, um, front, bottom, side, and side, we had 86 sites available for a reaction. Breaking it up into the individual lumps increases the surface area. So we have more space available to react because every single side, the ones on the inside, the ones on the outside are available to react, which means we had a total of 288 spaces available for reaction to take place. So if you turn something from a lump into a powder, you're making it smaller, but you are increasing the surface area.